so welcome to another video um, in this particular one we shall be taking a look at a JIA um, RCD and this particular unit has a notary closer and this part number is JIA GRD9LR and we have never installed um, one of these uh, units um, in one of the earlier videos we have done this year we have installed and tested a uh, Joe's Restart Pro unit and basically uh, what this unit tries to do is um, something similar so basically the RCD is a 30 milliamp RCD so it can be used to protect final circuits. Um, the only drawback is that um, this RCD is a type AC um, unit and ideally any modern installation has a minimum of a type A RCD. Um, maybe the manufacturer um, offers such units but um, basically this particular unit was brought to us by one of our friends just for testing purposes and we haven't done um, the background research on this particular product um, such devices are very popular on chinese websites um, such as aliexpress and we thought that it would be a good idea to test this particular product so it is quite easy to interface you just need to apply a, a, a supply a line in the neutral to the reclosing unit there is also the possibility of connecting an auxiliary contact but um, in this case we are just using the motorized part to reclose the rcd now um, um, what is uh, most interesting about these units is how the reclosing operation is carried out and um, from the data sheet uh, for this particular unit um, it seems that there is no feedback from the output into the auto recloser unit so basically um, from what we have understood before testing um, this is just an auto reclosing unit um, with timers and with delays and it has no particular information about the leakage current in the system um, basically um, this is not uh, ideal um, more advanced systems usually um, have some form of feedback mechanism to ensure that the unit does not restart unless the leakage fault has been cleared um, what we have done in this particular video is that we have connected the RCD uh, using the uh, following circuit so we have our RCD and we have our auto recloser now what we are doing in order to connect uh, to create a permanent earth leakage fault is that we have connected an led bulb with uh, one terminal connected to l out then we have a switch in this case we are using a single pole mcb and we are connecting the neutral connection to the neutral output uh, to the neutral input of the rcd Obviously, I am doing this to create a leakage fault without tripping the main RCD in my workshop. Um, basically, if there is any supply, which there should never ideally be a supply, um, the bulb should always be off. Um, this is uh, my simple arrangement. I have the RCD and the single pole MCB and there is my light bulb so i am going just to press the test button and um, the first timer is approximately 10 seconds and after 10 seconds the unit 
um, resets itself and therefore I have a um, supply on my output so um, for that particular fault um, it is um, quite interesting um, if there is another fault within 15 minutes the delay will be um, 60 seconds and then if there is another fault 100 seconds and after that um, the unit will stop trying to reclose now um, what I'm going to do I'm going to reset the timers of the units and I'm going to create a fault with my um, LED bulb I switch on um, when I try to trigger the MCB I am bypassing the neutral connection and therefore I am creating a transient leakage fault after the 10 seconds the uh, RCD will trip um, similarly to what we had with the test button now I am going to reset my RCD obviously this is just for testing purposes now I am going to create a permanent earth leakage fault therefore I am going to switch on the RCD has stripped but I am leaving my fault, my leakage fault there. Now the unit tries to reset and when it detects the fault it um, goes back to the original position. Now this is something which in my opinion could create a health hazard. Let us just try it again. I'm going to reset my RCD. I trip and I am leaving uh, my fault there. The RCD tries to reset and then goes back to the down position. However, as can be seen from this video, um, the RCD is on. Um, for a period of time and um, that is something which is not um, very good when one is doing any maintenance um, or repairs on an electrical installation so um, the main drawback of this particular unit is that um, if there is a permanent fault it will try to reset um, the RCD um, since there is no information about the state of the leakage current. More advanced units such as the Jewis, um, such as the Legrand and other similar units, they have um, sense wires which are used to detect um, if the fault has been cleared before um, the RCD is switched on again. Therefore, um, this particular unit um, might have some uses and it has the benefit of having delayed timers and it only um, offers um, restarts for four times and then it stops trying. Um, however, um, in our opinion, um, it could still pose some issues related to when one is carrying on maintenance and it does not have the features such as the devices offered by the premium brands. Obviously, um, there is the possibility of locking the device when one is doing maintenance, um, but um, if such a unit is used, um, if it is allowable to be used in your specific country, um, there should be a notice, a clear notice, that the RCD um, recloses um, by itself. So anyone doing maintenance um, will know um, that such a situation exists. Um, we hope that you have enjoyed this uh, particular video and um, if you'd like to send us any products um, to review or if you'd like any feedback um, on any particular uh, aspects of electrical installations we invite you to follow us on our youtube page and also on our facebook page ksc 
Engineering Malta.